Welcome back. We're here looking at the end of season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, September 27, 2022. If you like to support channel, we're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's get to it and then we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we tried to rally today, but only turned around and uh, saw even more negativity today. We got all the way up towards 11.4K and at the current state we're trading at 11.2K. We are significantly overstretched, based at the bottom of the bullish band, cl very close to the very lows of or the lows of June. And if you look at the RSI, we're at 30 here in the RSI. We are on the edge of it being oversold. So at this current stage, um, uh, bear market rally would make sense as we are getting really really overstretched at this current stage so what the market basically needs at this moment is just some kind of, of good news in order to, for this market to to rally it doesn't mean that this trend will change as we are basically in a downtrend it only means that we need to, to um, rally or get the rsi higher before this maybe will go lower if you look at the macd is still bearish stochastic is also bearish and rsi is also bearish on the edge of basically being um oversold so where we may find resistance are basically the 20 simple moving average is moving this direction breaking above that will open the door to the 50 moving average which is trading at 12.5 at this current stage and the 200 moving average up here at 13. so if we get a uh, 15% a rally to the upside and that basically means that we'll get up towards the uh, 200 moving average roughly at the 13 13k that could be uh, possible but 50 moving average is where we found massive resistance in the past so we may also just rally short up towards the 20 breakdown the 50 breakdown or probably best case scenario 200 moving average before breaking down if we get to the 200 we'll see the rsi getting back towards the 54 um, range and uh, therefore will be a lot more room to uh, to the downside so yes it is to be seen for this to turn around we basically need the 50 to cross the uh, the 200 moving average and basically have a closing way above the 200 moving average and then you'll probably see this turn around but that probably won't be until the federal reserve basically pronounces it as it will uh, stop its um its monetary policy that they're kind of doing at the moment and go to more uh, supportive of this of the market so let's go and look at the S P 100 we are basically making a double bottom here at this current stage and we're still dropping and that is a fairly a worrying sign if you saw the last time we were here we basically rallied and then we continued rallying all the way up to the 200 moving average at the current stage we are basically selling into the close of the u.s session we are way outside the bullish band we are significantly oversold so what we may see here is that we'll have a drop and then rally to the upside um you see what basically Asian session says when it didn't open, but it, this does not look at the same form. This was a fairly good candlestick here on Friday where we basically had a rally at the end of the session, but now we're continuing selling and testing this area. Still, there's not a lot of room to the downside as the RSI is so low, so a rally at this point would make much more sense than this breaking completely down to the downside. So 50 moving average, 20 is right here at the 3,906, 50 is at the 4,036, and the 200 at the 4,203. This is probably gonna be a massive stretch. 50 moving average is probably where I can expect this to go before breaking down. It would make sense to look something similar to this before going even lower. Um, yes, so we are still in a fairly um fairly nasty uh, bear market but something tells me also that we may see this market just cool off for the rest of the year that could also be possible as we probably will see this being the top of the range and this being the bottom of the range something similar to what we have seen uh, the nikkei uh, been doing for 2022 it doesn't have to be the market 
completely falls apart and goes down. It can also just go sideways. So we may also see the market do something similar to this going forward. And then uh, at some point when the Fed basically um, changes its monetary policy, we'll have a break to the upside. Or if it com completely goes wrong, that will break to the downside. But that is to be seen, completely just speculation at this point. But if you look at taking in the English MACD, it's bearish, it's stochastic, it's also bearish, and it's not it's also bearish, 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 and significantly oversold at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. That just looks absolutely horrible. So the Dow Jones has been, the, in the of these three industries, the Dow has been doing best this year. And, um, and at this current stage, it's not. So we kind of had a flag pattern here. We had a flag pattern here, and we are basically um, we are basically reached the bottom of this measured move. So, also here it would make sense for the Dow to start building a base and then rally to the upside before before going down. It is at 26, and the RSI at this current stage is significantly overstretched, way outside of the bullish band here in in uh, yeah, basically the bullish band. So. A rally would make sense at this current stage. 20 simple moving average is it here at the 31k, and then we have the 50 at 32k, and then the 200 moving average at 22 32.7k, and that is probably going to be a very big stretch. 50 moving average is probably the um, resistant area where we'll. Uh, well, we'll run into massive resistance and turn around, but that has to be seen. At this current stage, it is too overstretched for basically any interest of mine of basically starting to sell this at all. So let's look at the, the DAX, and DAX has also broken below the lows here. Terrible session for 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 Europe today. So UK is just. Um, especially the sterling has been in massive crisis uh, the last two trading days and the euro has also been for quite some time but not as bad as the sterling has been the last two days so so markets have also fallen we're trading at currently at 12.2 k at this point significantly overstretched on the edge of being oversold so rally at this point should uh, does also make sense uh, but I'm afraid that it probably won't be a massive rally. So 50 moving average, 40 super moving average, we could just, we could just rally, rally up towards this point and then just break down, which is the previous lows here. We could probably the best case scenario up towards the 50 moving average and then break down, which would be around uh, 13K, very nice number here, or in best case scenario up towards the 200 moving average and then break roughly at 13.6K. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is also bearish on the edge of being oversold. And you can see when we get below um, 30, this market tends to uh, turn around. You can see here we got way below 30, 22 is when uh, uh, we have fell off a cliff here and then rallied to the upside. And we're getting really close to that point. So let's look at the, the Nikkei. And as you can see, also a terrible day for here at the Nikkei. So Nikkei has been trading sideways for most of 2022. Um, see right here. So roughly down here at the 25, 26 K up towards 28 towards 29 K is where Nikkei has been uh, trading at for most of 2022. So at this current stage, we are getting really close to uh, this area, breaking below here or these candlesticks here, the lower ones that could open the door to the very lows. But at this point, I think that we will also see a rally in the Nikkei before we go lower, if we do go lower. So 200 moving average, 27.6K, 50 moving average at 27.9K, and then the highs here roughly 28 to towards 29K. That is probably where we'll find massive resistance. Breaking below here, well, that opens the door down here. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, RSI is also bearish, and we at 30 at this point, so on the edge of being oversold, and we're way outside of the bullish band as well. So let's look at the VIX. VIX continues to rally. We did not uh, go past the highs of Friday, uh, which should be, 
if we basically get a negative candlestick um, tomorrow, then that could be a sign of exhaustion and this market may tumble to the downside. So we have the highs of roughly 2022 is here at the 36.52. That's the massive spike here, and that was back in, in March. Then it fell all the way back to the low of the 200 average average, rallied back towards the 30, uh, 34k, back towards the 200 moving average. So 200 moving average has basically been uh, the support for this market. But in roughly this was back in, in uh, August, it fell all the way down to 19 before continuing rallying now. So the question is whether or not we get back, back towards these very highs. I We could, never say never, but at this point we are really overstretched. We are above 70 here in the RSI and we are way outside of the bullish band. So at this point it would make more sense that we'll drop back towards the 20 simple moving average, now 200 or the 50 before going higher. Break it below the 200, then we may back, you know, drop back towards the lows here. So, at, yes, so let's go look at the 10 year. 10 year had a massive day today, and we just continue buying into the end of the session. At this point, this has just gone parabolical. If you just look at the weekly chart, and you can see how parabolical this has gone. So, the flag pattern that we saw right here is kind of what we're what is playing out at this point but this can go on forever it can just go uh, vertically uh, forever we're also overbought in the weekly so at this current stage it's just a matter of this market uh, breaking down and that will happen uh, well anytime soon it's impossible to say when but uh, when it gets this parabolical it will happen really nastily and usually when it happens it also tends to drop back towards the very lows of the bullish band where we find the 50 moving average and that would also make sense because this was an area of interest highs 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 broke out from here and then rallied so we could see this market drop back towards the 50 before going higher breaking below the 50 well then opens the door back towards the 200 moving average and then we'll probably see a move similar to what we saw here going forward if you look at technical we can see the macd is uh, still bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is also bullish and we are significantly overbought at this current stage so let's look at the energy market energy markets are looking terrible and that is no um and it's not so strange as the world is running into a massive That's recession, recession. But, but we are getting very close to the bottom of this range so we have the top range here so we have gone back and forward within this range and at this current stage we are at the very bottom so a rally up towards this point here roughly at the 85 that could be possible uh, there's uh, economic data going out, uh, out tomorrow uh, uh, on oil so if that is surprising then we may see this uh, rally to the upside and the reason for that is because we are way outside of the bullish band we are significantly or sold at this current stage so therefore we may see this rally you can see the macd is very bearish stochastic is also bearish so yes we are in a downtrend but we it, it tends to bounce from this trend line it's not perfect at this current stage but uh, roughly around this area is where it has been bouncing off so let's look at natural gas and natural gas has found support at the 200 moving average so that is really interesting for natural gas last time we are were at the 200 moving average was basically here and we basically saw what happened after that. We had this massive reshape recovery, absolutely ridiculous. And now it looks like we are seeing another reshape recovery. So there is going to be less, there's going to be more demand for LNG uh, in 2022 and also in 2023 due to the fact that Europe cannot buy from Russia and therefore um, 
the United States will at some point probably do everything in its power in order to um, supply Europe with um, with LNG. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is turning around, becoming bullish, and RSI is also turning around, becoming bullish. So, if you get, if you manage to take out the seven point two, then it is fairly likely that we'll see another continuation of this move to the upside. Break a little below the two hundred moving average, uh, basically close below the two hundred moving average, and then this market could really drop all the way down to. Oh, that was not what I was about. All the way down towards these levels so so yes it is going to be interesting to see what basically happens here so hope you find this helpful you want to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new videos and please do your own due diligence before you trade so good luck and thank you very much